Good morning, everybody. Lou Depot back here again. And I've had a request. What's the proper pump when you're using zone valves? Well, with zone valves, sometimes you get them to close quick and you get that big bang. So the best thing I could tell you is a flat curve pump. Now, if you didn't take my Takeo class with the curve chart, I'm going to show you because I highlighted it. But a flat curve pump with zone valves, so you don't get that big bang. They seem to work a lot better. And I'm going to put the chart in front of the screen so you can see it. This is Takeo's flow, uh, circulator flow chart, the curve chart. And I highlighted it to an orange. As you can see, a 0010 and a 007 has that flat curve where it stays low with the head on the head side. So a flat curve pump, 0010, 007, will work well with zone valves. If you happen to have a large radiant heat zone with zone valves, they do make now Delta T pumps. Takeo's new circulator, Takeo 008 VDT, 0012, 13, and 007. VDT stands for Variable Speed Delta T Pump. And what that is, is these pumps have sensors on them. Besides the circulator pump, there's actually two sensors that has about 10 foot of a lead cord where you would actually put it from the boiler where the circulator is on the feed and return side of that zone with the zone valve on it. And there's a brain in here. And what these sensors do is they sense the feed going out and the return going back. And if you want it to be a 10 degree difference, if it's radiant heat, or whatever you want it to be, a 15 degree difference, it senses that and speeds up and slows down to maintain that. That keeps it very efficient and very nice. These are real nice that they came out with these. So you don't have to really do the math too much when you get the circulator. You get a pump with these sensors on it, you're going to make it do what it wants. The brain's going to do exactly that. It takes care of the speeds for you, and it speeds up and slows down. So that's real nice. So that's, that's, another, um, that's another good one from Takeo. Also, if you're doing a ModCon boiler and you're doing zone valves, they, they make an I valve now instead of a zone valve, which is a smart zone valve. So you may want to look into that too. They come up with some fast, fantastic stuff. A ModCon boiler is, is simply um, one of those new boilers that you hang on the wall, the condensating boilers, not those big heavy ones that go on the floor for you new guys coming up, okay? So um, you may want to look into the eye valve for that. I hope this helps.